So PQR is a right angled triangle and we can see a little diagram of that triangle here. We need to work out the size of the angle marked X and give our answer to one decimal place. And this is for two marks. Okay, so the first thing that we can see is that PQR is a right angled triangle. It says that in the question, we can also see that from the diagram here with this little um, square, meaning it's a right angle. So quite often when we see a right angled triangle in the question, our first thought should be trigonometry. And when we think of trigonometry, um, we quite often think of Sokotoa. So this is a nice way of remembering our trigonometric ratios. I'm going to use this here um, to help us a little bit later. First of all, we're going to look at the triangle here. And we need to label our sides. Um, so we've got three sides to label. We've got the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Um, so the first one is the opposite. Um, and the way we find out which side that is, is we go to the angle we want to find out. So in this case, this one here. And then we draw a line coming directly out of it and see which side it hits. So this one. So it's the opposite because it's the side that's opposite to the angle um, that we want to find out. Equally, you can also think of it as the side of the triangle that doesn't touch the angle we want to work out at all. So I'm going to label that side O for opposite. The next one to find out is the adjacent. Now the adjacent is the side that touches both the angle we want to find out and the right angle. So it's this side here, that side that touches both of them. So that is the adjacent side. Then the final side here, so the sort of sloped side coming down here, is the hypotenuse. So I label that H. Now only think about which sides are going to be useful. So which sides do we have information for? Well, we haven't got any information for A, the adjacent side, because um, it doesn't tell us what length it is. However, for the hypotenuse and the opposite, we know, okay, so this is 5 centimetres and this is 14. These are the ones we're going to use because um, they're helpful. We've got information about them. So if we go back over to um, the little helpful um, Sokotoa I wrote out here. Um, we're going to see which one involves O and H. So if we look at these parts of the word here, we've got this one is A and H. This is O and A. This is O and H. And we want to use this one because um, that's what we've got. We've got some information for O and H. So we're going to use this one. And then we look at the letter here. See, ah, that's an S, so that means sine. We're going to have sine of an angle. So I'm going to represent that with a theta here. So sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So essentially, this right here is a way of remembering it. And this represents this. So this is what we're going to use. This is our trigonometric ratio. So using this, we've got sine. And we're going to replace theta with the angle we're working out. Well, the angle we're working out here is x. So we're going to have sine x. And that's opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 5 centimetres and hypotenuse is 14. We're going to do that. So our next step is to work out what x is. And the way we do this is by using inverse sine. So we can say x equals the inverse sine. So we write that as sine to the minus 1 of 5 over 14. And what you can do, you can put this straight into the calculator. And doing that, we get that x equals 20. Point. And then we've got lots of decimal places. So I'm going to write down a few of them. We've got 9, 2, 4, 8, 3, dot, dot, dot. So it keeps on going. Uh, but if we refer back up to the question, it says we need to give our answer to one decimal place. So we need to round this to one decimal place. So we're going to say x equals 20. Point. And to round to one decimal place, we look at the one after the point, so we've got 9. Then we look at the number after that, and we think, is that 5 or above or lower than 5? If it's 5 and above, we would take this number and raise it up 1. If it's less than 5, we would keep it the same. So 2 is less than 5, so we're going to keep the 9 the same, and we've got 20.9. And that's uh, the answer to one decimal place. And handily, they've already included our little degree sign here, so we don't need to worry about that. And for this question, we get one mark up here. So if we work out that sine x equals 5 over 14, we get the second mark for getting the correct answer of 20.9 degrees.